November 9th, which is a Tuesday, at uh, 12 o'clock, there will be a demonstration at, at 6 in Market. The hearing from Amia in front of the Third Circuit Court is going to be on that day. And that hearing is to decide whether the death penalty will be reinstated. But right now, the most critical part is that we stop them from executing him. Um, and that is why we need as many people as possible to come out on November 9th. The 9th is important. At this critical stage, it's to save him and stop them from executing him. But that doesn't mean that we have given up the battle to have him freed ultimately. They don't like the songs you sing. They don't like the hopes you bring. But when the people take control, will let freedom ring? If they come for me in the morning, they will come for you at night. It's happened before. This is the warning. Now's the time to stand and fight. Another effort is being made by the government to silence him with illegal lynching. Anytime any political activist speaks out against any U.S. policy, whether it's at home or, to, or abroad, the government always tries to silence them and to label them as either a so-called terrorist or as a cop killer in the uh, instant of, of Mamiya Abu-Jamal. They will come for you at night. On September 24th, there were raids made by the FBI against anti-war activists and uh, peace activists in the Midwest with the claim that they were supporting so-called you know, terrorist organizations in Colombia, that they were supporting the Palestinian uh, freedom struggle. It's happened before. This is a warning. It's the same FBI who framed Mamiya Abu-Jamal from the time that he was 15 years old. In fact, he has been a victim of COINTELPRO by the FBI ever since he joined the Black Panther Party uh, as a 15-year-old in Philadelphia because Mamiya joined the Panther Party in order to fight back against police brutality and other forms of racist repression in the United States. Now's the 